Oh, Facebook's a slut bag. Right, hello everybody. Just had this horizontal. Facebook doesn't like landscape, so bear with. How are you all doing? Right, bear with, bear with. Who's in the house? Who's cooking the lawn, more importantly? This has got to be the easiest one I've ever done. It's going to take like no time whatsoever. Come and show yourselves. I know my mum's not, because she's here. Yes, we have our first guest. I'll bring you in in a second, keep it professional. Um, right, so if you are gonna do the pastry. We'll get to that in a sec, all right? Yeah. Right, who's in the house? Come and say hello, because obviously this will be a two-way street, which I've got comments on. Guys, can you hear me? Everyone see you okay? Come at me, because otherwise I'll be talking to myself. Cornish pasties, got Cornish cider. Where's uh, Neil Pollock? You'll appreciate that, mate. And Phil Mutton, if you're not watching, well, I think our relationship's over. Cheers, everybody, happy Friday. Mm. Who's in the house? Come and say hello, please. Don't be lurking, can't be doing with that. And uh, I will crack on and make some Cornish pasties for your y'all. Right, Ash, hello, lovely. How you doing, mate? You good? Well, while everyone starts coming online, hopefully, could be an empty house. Got good, got good feedback for the Cornish pasties. So I hope people turn up. Checking you've done it right. Yeah, you're my fave. How you doing, bro? Bro, lass. Um, I'm just gonna add, I've got in here, swede, potato and onion, that's all. And then we're gonna add meat, salt and pepper. It's that simple. Uh, and then we're gonna cook it for an hour. Um, 15 minutes at 180 and then turn it down to 160 for 45 minutes, but we're not going to stay live for an hour watching my oven cook a pasty, all right? So we'll all go our separate ways. If you're cooking along, put your hands up for Detroit. Quantities. Huh? Quantities, so how many potatoes? It's all on the recipe. Oh, God, I tell you what. Mum's chirps at me already. Hi, Kat. Hi, Jenny. How you doing? Any of you guys cooking along? Why is it so quiet for a Friday night? It's Cornish pasties, y'all. Really easy to do. I put the pastry up on YouTube. Right. Those from the JSA, we're doing a fish curry on Sunday. Strangely enough. Maybe, if you heard. Right, just dicing this onion, waiting for a few people to come in. If you're cooking along, you've got to let me know straight away. If you're not, it's fine, just watch. It's not going to be a long one. Everything's already prepped. I've got nicely diced casserole meat here, or shin, or whatever you want. It's the cheaper kind, but we cook it for a long time so it goes tender. That was done by my mum's fair hand. Everyone's boozing, I bet. Yeah, it's Friday, isn't it? That's a fair shout, Ash. But you can't beat them join them, right? Why is everyone boozing? What's special about today? So if no one's cooking at all, we'll just rattle through this. I don't have to wait for people. Why is everyone boozing? What's happening to Friday? Is, people, is it payday or something? Well, Ash and Jenny and Kat, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you ever so much. Who else is in the house? Come and say hello, because you know what happens? I talk to myself, bored of my own voice, believe it or not. And uh, makes for a really uninteractive show. Right, so to repeat, and my mum's quite right, she stood just there, she'll be here in a minute. Basically, I had the camera turn landscape to fit both of us in. Facebook doesn't like that, so me and Facebook could be over. YouTube likes landscape, Facebook and Instagram like portrait. It's just an absolute minefield. So, let's recap. The pastry is on YouTube, I did that this morning. It is 100 grams of lard, 150 grams of butter. The reason we do two is the lard gives it a lovely flaky texture, but it tastes of nothing. Butter is flav all the flavor. Put that with some strong flour, bread flour. I've used brown, because that's all I can find on the supermarket shelves. And a bit of salt. Okay, that is the dough. That's been in the fridge all afternoon, and I've rolled out one. And if you're doing it, it needs to be about 20 to 22 centimeters, which is coincidentally the same size as a side plate. So I'm gonna get my mum on that in a second. In the bowl, I've got 400 grams of the meat, uh, the meat here, 400 grams of potatoes, 200 grams of swede, and then two onions diced up. Hi Sam, Chris, Debbie, how are we all doing? Hey, happy, how are you doing broski? 
How's Manchester treating you? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, I said broski. What of it? <laughs> let's not let's let's not dwell and move on. Um, anyone, any of you guys, fine gentlemen and ladies, cooking along? Let me know. I'm just going to finish off these potatoes and then we're going to crack on. It's going to be a short one today, guys. So the people that get here late, you snooze, you lose. Right. Without further ado, Mum, do you want to come say hello? Hello. My mum's here. <laughs> <laughs> also been called Judy Dench by a lot of my rugby chums back in Rickmansworth at Chess Valley. Mort's will come on, if he comes on, there'll be mum jokes galore. Um, mum's just been down to see my little brother in Devon or Cornwall? Devon. In Devon. But they had a pasty on the beach and that was the inspiration for tonight, okay? So my mum's called Pam. You can call her Judy Dench if you like, she doesn't <laughs> mind it. Um, she's going to roll out the pastry for me. Um, I'm going to move to one side because we've done all the chopping. So, so straight on here, am I? Yeah, just put it back, bang on there, flatten it. So you've, can they see that? Yeah, come a bit more. That's it, and then make it into a 22, 20 centimeter thing. Right in my pan here, guys. While my mum rolls out that pastry, bless her. You've got, like I said, potatoes, onion, sweet, and then the beef. Okay. Now we're going to add a lot of salt and pepper. To, well, not a lot. A fair whack of salt and pepper, and ideally we'll let it rest for longer than we've, we've got, like half an hour, to get all the flavours to kind of like get to know each other, have a little bite. Even as Sid, hope you're well mate, it's still down in Bristol I hope. And so, I'm going to add salt, pepper, and I might even run out into the garden and go have some parsley. But that is it, these Cornish pasties are so basic, in a very good way. Mm. So I'll give you a little history lesson as I was reading up on Cornish pasties. Hooligan. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so they were for Cornish miners. They took back to medieval times, but the Cornish miners in the 17 and 1800s. So it was lunch and they had really grubby hands and that's why you've got that crimp around the end side. I've just found out that was called the knocker and they used to drop the end of the crust down the mine because it had covered in all their grubby hands so, oh, they, so they didn't eat it. Oh, okay. And apparently the knocker of the pasty scared or either fed the demons so they didn't, yeah fed the demons so they didn't eat the miners or, or something along those lines. So there you go. This is why I'm not a teacher. Not yet anyway, I'm teaching, teach, teaching my mum how to cook. And by the end of the month, guys, this is very exciting. Evening, Rosie. Um, by the end of the month, the website will be up and you guys can have lessons from yours truly, should you want them. It'll be, it'll be a bit of a giggle. So yeah, loads of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to mix all this together. And then we're just going to put it in there and I'm going to try my best not to embarrass myself with the crimping of a Cornish pasty. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. Looks it's like nails. Have a go at one. Yeah, well, mum's going to have a go, but she'll probably nail it because, you know, oh, well, wouldn't, wouldn't old, guarantee that. old dog new tricks and all that. Well, I've never made a Cornish pasty. Yeah, we're not from Cornwall. <laughs> my brother liked it down there. So uh, this, that's where it's all come from. And all guys, all the ingredients here are raw. Okay, so you want to be able, to, you want to cut that potato and that sweet and the meat all the same size, um, so it cooks evenly. All right, all right. Let's give this a bash. I am petrified doing this live. <laughs> so I think we've got more mix than we have pastry. So not to worry. How are we doing, Vanessa? How are you doing? So you've got enough for six. Good pasties, stuff. Hi, Zoe. Yeah, yeah, sure. And six pasties, so okay. Yeah. But so. That's without further, more further ado. I'm gonna get more seasoning in there. Bring out the big guns. No liquid at all. No liquid. The salt, the salt pulls the liquid out of the um, the meat and the veg, and that's almost like your gravy, if you will. Um, and it can't go anywhere, can it? It's in. What can I get this? In paste. Use the plate. Use the plate as a cutter. Turn the plate upside down. Oh and right. Like cutter, okay. Hiya Jake, how you doing mate? Hey look, cider. I know it's not your cider, but it's corn. I'd go Cornish because we're doing past it. Anyway, Vanessa, please do. Can I use the knife on here? Yeah, why Right, so here we go. I'd say maybe a tennis ball. Would that be the same, right size? Maybe a bit smaller, I've got big hands. Okay, moment of truth. Or truth with a TH instead of an M. Preheat the oven to 180, and then we're going to, if it's fan assisted. Hi, Sarah. 
What's up? <laughs> You've got it stuck, haven't you? <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, there you go. Love it. Right, I think I might have overpacked there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. That is a, a little less. Get in, get in that. Get right. And then the you, one, apparently you fold it over, press it down, and now it's the crimping stage. Oh, I am gonna. And we've got some egg wash to make them all nice and golden. But. Nice and round. Right. This is where it could go all horribly wrong, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're laughing. <laughs> well, I want to, I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna have a go. With so, yeah. So, crimping, the technique, thank you, YouTube. <laughs> is to push your thumb into it, fold it over your thumb, and just repeat that. So, here we go. Oh good, I've already got a hold of my pastry, bollocks. So, thumb in, wrap over. Thumb in, wrap over your thumb. Hang on, this isn't too bad. Push your thumb in, and wrap it over your thumb. Oh my days! It works. I reckon it will look all right. Oh, yeah, well, it will only work if it all stays in one place and doesn't leak. There we go. I'm doing, I'm making a corner spassy. Thumb in, wrap it over your thumb. Tip of your thumb. There we go. Oh, days. And then the last little bit, the edge here, you just tuck that underneath. Give it a little cut. Give it a little hug. That's Welsh for hug. And there we are, guys. I just made a Cornish pasty. Oh, yes, can I, I use brown one? flour. But that's all I had. So white, strong bread flour would be fine. And now my mum's going to give it a go. Like I said, guys, the website we're at the end of the month. You can get lessons for yourself if you like. So it's about... Well, yeah, it's not a lot. It's like somewhere between a tennis ball and a golf ball size. Is that too much? Yeah, because once you fold it over, I don't mind. Plus, we should roll these out a little bit thinner, um, thicker. So 22 centimetres is what you want on the pastry. I've okay? done 20. Yeah, go for it. So now right, fold it towards so... you all the way through. Whichever you find easier. That's it. Well done. Yeah, that's it. And then press it down. Push it down with your thumb or however, make it all like... I'm supposed to be demonstrating how easy it is because I've never done it before and I'm not a professional. Talk to me, cooking. So, now what do I do? I've got to right, put so thumb, thumb in. Right, so thumb in like there, your right hand, your right thumb there, and then roll the pastry over your th the thumb, tip of your thumb, that's it, and then go again and put it, and that's it. Look at this, guys. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Well, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Just, they'll see the final effort and you're stepping up on a live show at quarter past six on a Friday night to be taught how to do a Cornish Ooh, pasty. A Mort's is in, here come the mum jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Evening Mort's. Oh, it started off all right. Yeah, you're right, just take your time, don't who else is in? Is that Judy Dench? Yeah, good lad in. Told ya, mate, right on cue. Wish mate. I had her money. I wish I, <laughs> I wish I had a champagne and tree love. There we are, how's that? Not a bad Fanny Craddock, give it a little hug. Bring it all together with your hands like that, that's it. Then we go again. Ooh, look! I've done one. We'll see which ones, we'll, we'll mark them. Hang yeah. on, hang on. Let me grab a knife and we'll put mum in that one. So the best thing about pastry is you can put whatever you like in the top, just, just score it in. There we go, ma. Now, if that one leaks and bursts and we get gravy all over, <laughs> over the oven, we know who to blame. But you won't know. <laughs> yeah, but you won't know, we'll be out of your head. I want to watch my oven go. Right, I'm gonna do another one. Should we do it together? <laughs> we want to be together. Oh. Right. I'll have to congratulate myself by a little bit. <laughs> Good girl. Well done. Amazing. Right, grab, grab your mix. So yeah, Cornish pasties, super simple. As long as you can chop, chop up some veggies and that's it. Oh, the big dog's in. Phil Martin. Oh, now I'm really nervous. I love your week later. To Rebecca, I love you do everything a week later. Evening, Crano. How you doing, mate? Like us with our exercise classes, she does them live and we do them a week later. Mr. Mutton, I hope I'm doing you justice, pal. The ingredients are bang on. I researched, I've done a little bit of lesson about how Cornish passes come about and the biggest bit, the crimping. I did the pastry, the crimping, put your thumb in, roll it over. Put your thumb in, roll it over. It doesn't need water or anything, does it? No, uh, just because of, the lard, because of all the lard and the butter. So thumb in, over, thumb in, over, thumb in a softy. When you say over, you put it over your thumb? Yeah. I've got big fat thumbs, I have. Good for you. <laughs> no one here gives a shit. Right, and then give it a little bit of love. Pasty! We're gonna brush all of these, we're gonna do six, we're gonna brush these with egg wash, so they're all good. Evening, Pud, hope you're well, mate. So yeah. Mr. Mutton, thank you for chiming in and making sure I didn't put carrots, turnips, or parsnips <laughs> in my in my pasty. I was never going to. It's just. Oh, look at that one! 
Hello, look at our oh, best in show, Mum. Get your rosette. Well done. Well done, you. Put a puff of Paul on that one. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want to show them? Give them a close up. I think that's the best one so far. Not not our family. The feeling, then. Look, look, look at that. How impressed you are. Mate, everyone like that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Phil. That is it. Mum, fair play. I'm obviously a great teacher. Yes, of course you <laughs> So, yeah. Again, this is all raw, guys. The, it cooks for an hour. 15 minutes at 180, and then 45 minutes um, at 160, okay? And we're gonna put them on this baking tray behind me, bang them in the oven. They, don't fall apart. they won't fall apart, we're fine, love. Um, and Robert's your father's brother. So, thank you, guys. We've got, Mum, me and Mum are doing one more each. And then we're gonna put them in the oven, and I'll probably either go live in an hour's time and show you the uh, the work, uh, the oh, yes, fruits good. of our labour. And if you want to tune in, great. Or you'll just see a picture of me stuffing my face with a Cornish pasty. Or we'll run down the shop and buy some because it's been a. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we'll run down the shop and get some ginsters uh, and just like put some garnish on top of them and make them look like that. Thanks, Mr. Mutton. I'm glad. Hope you and everyone down there as well. Right, so again, the crimping, the hardest part for me, thumb in and well, then wrap got over. Fat thumbs as well. But we haven't used all the filling. We haven't used anywhere near They didn't need to know that, did they? Well, well I'm just. <laughs> we'll make, they, I'll make, should, they do need to know when they're cooking no, it. I, I, the, the that, that'll make, I'll make some more pastry. And we'll do it okay, again. So we'll be basically on Cornish patties all weekend. So those oh ingredients that you made will make more than six Cornish yeah, patties. Yeah, they might make the. Yeah. Okay, so, so you need to know that. I mean, that's what I've got yes, other things I keep asking them is quantities and how many you're feeding and. You do every time. I put, well, uh, that's uh, what the, that's what these guys need to know. I know. Well, every, every time I bang something up on YouTube, Mum's like, I can't find the ingredients. Even instead, Adele, Mr. Ramsey, Bender, hope you're well. Cornish cider. No, no, you see, I put quite a lot of filling in that one, so. We'll put that on yours then. So, <laughs> Mum's right, every time I put something like this onto YouTube, it's very raw. I don't really edit it, I just throw it up there, and Mum's like, straight away, you haven't put up the ingredients and the amounts. I'm working on it. Quantities and who, how many it's going to feed. I'm working on it. Guys, how is your weekend looking? Talk to me. We're going to egg wash these in a sec and then get them in the oven and leave you guys in peace. That didn't take long, did I it? I know, exactly right. If perfect preparation prevents piss poor performance. You've done ever so well with your wrapping. You're hired. Little clutch, little clutch. So just press it in and then you, I'll let you egg wash them because I'm, I'm sure you can handle that. Mum, yours look better than mine. No, you know, you've either got it or you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can do the egg wash. So guys, just for glaze, oh, lubrication. Yeah, get on Reinforcements. And guys, that's Cornish pasties. So simple. You can obviously go on the high street, I know this for a fact, because I have one the other day, and get traditional steak and Stilton. Um, there's a place in Gloucester Keys that does a smoked haddock one. Ooh, lovely. Which is banging, but for the traditionals and the, and, and the, um, the Cornish Nazis, um, probably not the, <laughs> <laughs> not the right one. Um, budge over a bit. It's me they came to see, not you. <laughs> <laughs> My mum is ace, I, I firmly believe that. She is one in a million. Nellie's in Lost Withal, Neil Allen Bayless is a bleedy good one. Yeah, but a bleedy good one, it's a long way to go with petrol, isn't it? We Hello, 3 a.m. in Australia, look at that. We, we had a butte in Croyd yesterday. Croyd, mum was mum, there, so. Don't, because he's Cornish, you went to Devon and that's it, that would game over, he'll hang up. And we didn't get a cream tea either. Anyway, um, yes, so, oh, you've put me off my train of thought. Really simple, potato, sweet, onion, meat, raw. Mix it together with salt and pepper, a bit of parsley if you're Jones in for that kind of jazz. Make the pastry, the video's on my YouTube channel. Uh, this will be on my YouTube channel, just uploaded as it is. I've no bells, no whistles until someone teaches me how to edit properly. Um, I need you guys to do me a solid though. Follow me on Insta, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and at the end of the month, when the website comes out, book some lessons and I'll cook, I'll cook you. These ones I'm doing, the Friday Night Fake Away, is, for want of a better word, it's just a, like a taster. What the website's gonna do will be bespoke lessons. If you want to learn how to do lobster thermidor, or you want to know how to do, um, I don't know, pulled pork, whatever you're jonesing for, I can do that. And through the power of really? face, FaceTime and all the rest of it, 
uh, we can get you there. I've done two clients in America. We did that with the time difference, did their Easter lunch, which was venison, and we did uh, several lessons for Isabel in Washington, DC, uh, which was uh, finished with a fish pie, fisherman's pie for Valentine's Day. Ooh, Massive yeah. it was, it was really good. Hi, Norris. It's Norris. No, Kate, Kate's there, look who he is. Um, so, yeah. Get, please get subscribing, liking, sharing, following, all that jazz. Is that done enough? And yeah, you're absolutely golden. So my mums are on the left, my left, stage left, these ones, and mine are on the right, and she's f***ing trounced me there, isn't she? She's absolutely trounced me. She, hers are at the top of the screen. Look at that. You, there ain't no school like the old school, or the geriatric school, or anything else. So, like I said, guys, Preheated oven to 180 degrees fan, 200 if it's just re regular. And then for 15 minutes, put your buzzer on and then turn it down to 160 for 45 minutes. So it's an hour's total cooking time. Um, I did get slated for saying put it with mash and chips, that's fine. All you need is a brown paper bag and your dabs and you get fully involved. Um, we'll, stay, we'll stay on and talk. Chuck him eat small. Yeah, so it all cooks nice. Um, so we'll stay on for five minutes of Q&A. Uh, go to about half past. Kate, uh, my cousin, and my mum can catch up. Um, but that's essentially it. Now, if you've got any questions or requests for next week, bring them in. Chippy wanted a Philly cheesesteak sub. Um, there were some other bits and pieces. I'm going to do, if no one else comes in with a decent one, come on, man. if no one comes in with a decent suggestion, I'm going to do chicken wings. Now, chicken wings, there is a knack to getting these buggers right. I promise you that. Um, and I'll tell you what it is. It's the seasoning and keeping it in the fridge overnight. Hands down, I've done this, uh, there was a restaurant I worked with in Gloucester and I've been to America and asked, I, 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 had, to go, I had to go to Hooters, you can't go to America, not go to Hooters. And the Hooters? Restaurant, does chicken, really good chicken wings no and sport. Um, get off, <laughs> fuck's sake. Um, so yeah. I'll do chicken, if I do chicken wings. Pam is an improvement, thanks wife. Um, <laughs> so, what am I gonna say? Yes, yeah, chicken wings next week, if nothing, nothing, no one else comes in better. Um, it is all about the seasoning and leaving them in the fridge overnight if you want that lovely crisp. And we will be frying. Now, I've done all of these fakeaways with a hob and an oven because I know you guys have got that at home. No special equipment. I don't wanna go, and here we're going to sous vide a ribeye steak. Because all of you guys at home, like, I don't have a sous vide machine, Fuck off. Wings, we're gonna get a pan, I don't like fryers, they make the house stink. So I'm gonna get a pan of oil and we're gonna deep fry these chicken wings next week. Unless someone comes in and says, please, Can't please, please. Can you do please. them in the oven? No? Just they're, not, they're just not the same, they don't go as okay. they don't go You want okay. a crisp bite yeah, yeah, and then yeah, a hot yeah, sauce enough. and chicken. I'm only asking questions your little audience might be asking. She's the best. Yeah, Dawn, absolutely chicken wings. Pam is an improvement, my, my mum, uh, anywho. I'm getting lambasted from all sides. That's what we get for going go on the internet. Right, and so now we are the <laughs> Fanny Craddock. So, guys, like, share, subscribe, follow for the last time. End of the month, we'll have the, uh, the website out. And uh, once again, have a wonderful weekend. Take it easy. Enjoy a beer or a Cornish cider, a Cornish pasty. You know what? All that talking, I didn't set the time, did I? Right, again, 15 minutes at 180 and then down to 160 for 45 minutes is the Rattler can product placement. It's Cornish, darling. It's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Love you wherever you are watching this. Um, right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Even at 3 a.m.? Well, that's a little stalkerish, Pauline, but I do appreciate it. I hope Australia's treating you well and you're all safe and well over there. Um, you can always watch them back on YouTube, Insta and Facebook. Guys, that's enough rambling from me. You take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you lots. Bye.